Hello Edward. About the job you told me to look for you. I have found one. It's within the company I work for. Thank you so much Jacob. When is the interview? They haven't sent the job post online yet. I just heard the company is looking for a software engineer. You are my friend. Help me get the job. I will. We have been friends for long. Please send a job post that we need a software engineer. Okay sir. Next week should be the time of the interview. Noted. Hello Edward. Have sent you the job post. Send your CV and I will talk to James. He is my friend. He is the assistant director of the company. Thank you so much Jacob. I don't know what I would have done without you. Good morning James. I want to talk to you. Okay, talk to me. I have a good friend. He is like a brother to me. He studied software engineering in Harvard University. I was requesting you to consider him and give him a job. He will come for the interview next week. His name is Edward. Okay. I have heard you. I will talk to Joel tomorrow. I will not be available. Anyway what are brothers for? Thank you so much. I really appreciate Let us introduce ourselves. My name is David, the HR. My name is Jonathan, the accountant. My name is Abigail, the assistant accountant. And I'm Joel, the company director. Tell us about yourself. I schooled at Harvard University. Pursued bachelors in software engineering. I graduated with first class honors. And the university offered me a scholarship to pursue masters. I graduated last year and am currently teaching in the university. But my passion is to provide technical solutions to IT problems. You have an excellent background. You are the person we need in our farm. From the qualifications we have checked in your resume. You are right for this position. You are hired. You can start work immediately. Thank you so much. He is such a brilliant man. Yes. His certificates are excellent. Jacob. Thank you so much. I got the job. You are welcome. Glory to God. My son. How did the interview go? It went well. I got hired. We thank God. Praise be unto God. He has been faithful to us. Yes, Mom. Edward, this will be your office. Thank you, sir. You can read this contract and sign it. Okay, sir. I am going to be given a company car. And this is my starting salary. After six months, they will increase it. I will make it soon in this life. After a month, I will stop staying with my parents. I am going to use that money and buy a good house for myself. I thank God for this. Edward, how are you doing? I am doing good. And you? have been doing well. Next weekend it's my sister's birthday. You are welcome. I won't miss. I have to come. Yes please. Come we'll enjoy ourselves. I know. I will be there. Edward. Meet my sister Michelle. You are the birthday girl. Yes Edward. Michelle, they are calling you. I'm coming. Meet my brother's friend Edward. I'm Lynette. Michelle's friend since we were kids. Am Edward. Jacob is like a brother to me. We have been close for long. That's great. See you around. Wow. Lynette is so beautiful. Yes. She has been our family friend for long now. Hello Lynette. It's Edward. This is my number. Okay. I will save it. You are really beautiful Lynette. Thank you. I would like us to meet and have coffee. What do you say about it? It's okay. Will you be available next weekend? Yes, sure. Okay. That's great. I will send you the address of the hotel that we'll meet. Okay. Good night. I saw you, Edward. You like Lynette? Yes, I do. I really like her. Lynette. I saw how Edward was looking at you. He really likes you. I didn't notice. Yesterday night he called. He asked if we can meet and have coffee. What did you tell him? I agreed I will meet him. I think he will ask you out. Let's wait and see. Should I come and pick you or you will come with a taxi? It's okay. You can come and pick me. I'm on my way. You are welcome. Thank you. Are you ready we leave? Yes, let's go. Lynette, you can order anything you want. Okay. Lynette. I really like you. I will love us to be friends. 
I haven't known you very well. Since I know Jacob is a good guy. I believe you must be a good person as well. I don't mind us being friends. You will know me well as time goes by. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much. You don't know how happy I am to meet you. You are welcome. Anyway will you drop me at my place? No problem. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Well, that's great. So when I don't feel well, I will be consulting you. No problem. I'm always ready to help people whenever I can. I'm happy to hear that. I will drop you here at your gate. I have a dinner meeting with my boys. Drive safe. Today I'm so happy. I have a beautiful friend. I would love to make her my wife one day. These other girls I'm just having fun with them. That's my boy. I really love her. When the right time comes, I will make her my wife. I'm still knowing her. Hope she will not be after my money. I see you have been talking about her since you came in. I will really love to meet her. You will meet her. Don't worry. Okay. Let's go and have fun with those girls. Edward. You have changed ever since you got this job. No my friend. I haven't changed. It's just that I'm busy with work. You understand how our work is. I'm serious. You have really changed. Work can't make you this way. You know what? Just believe what you want to believe. Don't be mad. I didn't ask in a bad way. You know what? Just leave me alone. I have something I want to do. What did I say wrong? That has made him this mad. Anyway let me mind my own business. My love. There is this this gadget that I want to buy. But the money I have isn't enough. Can you please add me the remaining amount, so that I can go and buy it? How much do you need? Just two thousand dollars. I will send you three thousand dollars. What? That's why I love you. Hello my son. I'm sick. I have been admitted in the hospital. Will you come and see me? What? You are in the hospital. What's wrong? How are you feeling? The doctor said my blood pressure was high. But it will be normal. Don't worry mom. I will be there in an hour. Thank you son. I will leave the office early. I have to go and see my mom. If the boss asks where I went, please tell him I went to see my mom in the hospital. I may come back or I will report tomorrow in the office. Okay sir. It has been a while since I went home. Let me go and see my mom. I really miss her. Good afternoon madam. I am looking for Teresa. She was admitted here yesterday evening. Let me check the books. Okay, you can go to room number 27. You will find her there. Thank you. Doctor, how is my mom doing? She is getting well. Her blood pressure is returning to normal. What was the cause of the high blood pressure? Stress. Thank you, doctor. Mom, I have talked with the doctor. She said your blood pressure rose because of stress. What's stressing you, mama? Your brother fought with another child. He beat him on the head with a log. The child is also admitted here in this hospital. What? What's wrong with Eugene? I will talk to him. Please do. Eugene, what you did was wrong. You made mom's blood pressure to rise. Do you want to kill her? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. You have to control your temper or else. Don't say that, Edward. I have learned my lesson. This thing won't repeat itself again. Where is dad? He traveled. He heard what happened. He's coming today. Mom is still in the hospital. Please don't give her stress. I won't. I promise. My son, I heard what your brother did. I had to leave everything and come. How is your mom doing? And the child that your brother almost broke his head. How is he doing? They are doing well now. Mom will be discharged today. The boy I don't know. Let's go and see your mom. Doctor, please give me the bill of my mom and the child. Go to the accountant. She will let you know where to send the money. Thank you, doctor. I have already settled the bill. That's good, my son. My wife. How are you feeling now? I feel better. Yes, Lynette. What is it? My love. I passed by your house as I was coming from work. You were not around. Where are you? My mom was admitted. I went to see her. I'm sorry to hear that. 
Are you coming today? Yes. I will pass by your house. My son, who is that? That's my girlfriend. My wife to be. I would love to meet her. Yes, bring her home. I will. Mom is well now. Let me go to my house, then tomorrow I will go to work. Welcome, my love. I thought you might not pass by. I had to. I am so hungry. Did you prepare anything I can take? Yes. I made you your favorite meal. Let's go to the dining. That's why I love you. My love. I am starting my leave this coming week. And I will love to visit the Bahamas. You want to go alone? I don't mind, since you will be working. Okay then. I will facilitate everything you need. But you will stay there for a week. Thank you so much. Edward, I heard what happened to your mom. How is she doing now? She is getting well. That's good to hear. Jared, my girlfriend went to Bahamas. Now I can do whatever I want. You haven't even shown me this girlfriend of yours. You will meet her when she comes back. Let's have fun. Where is my money? Check on the table. Can I prepare you breakfast? No. Just pick your money and go. Okay. See you again. Hello babe. I have arrived. I'm at the airport. Please come and pick me. I'm coming. How was your trip? It was amazing. I really enjoyed myself. I'm happy to hear that. I want to take you home. I want you to meet my parents. My love. I have just arrived. I will really wish I relax, then we go another time. Okay then. Hello bro. Dad got an accident while he was at his place of work. Something hit him on the head. They took him to the nearest hospital but they couldn't treat him. So they brought him to the city. He is really in a critical condition. He is in the ICU as we speak. What? Send me the address of the hospital. I'm on my way. I have got an emergency. My dad is in the hospital. Tell my boss when he comes I went to see my dad. Hello Lynette. My dad was admitted in the hospital. Will you come over? I'm on my way there. I'm in the office right now. I can't make it. Come let's enjoy ourselves. Who is that? No one important. Okay. Every time I ask Lynette to come and see my parents. She gives me excuses. Now my dad is in the hospital. She is always busy. Doctor. How am I doing? Can I go and see my dad? I'm sorry Edward. You can't walk. Your legs were injured badly. I don't think if you will ever walk again without crutches. Oh no. I heard what happened and I came immediately. How are you feeling Edward? The doctor said I will not walk again. I'm so sorry to hear that. For now let's focus on your recovery. Where is Lynette? I don't know. Actually we thought she was here by now. No. I haven't seen her. Edward. Do you know how is your dad doing? I haven't seen him. The doctor said, he is still in the ICU. Edward, you can now go home. Please take me. I want to see my dad. Okay. Doctor, how long do you think he will stay here? It depends. But we will be monitoring him. Lynette, you did not go to see Edward in the hospital. I didn't get the time. I can see right now you are not busy. Why don't you go and see him? I heard he won't walk again. I'm not ready to be married to a crippled man. What? Lynette, you are wicked. Hello everyone. Edward has been a good employee ever since he came to this company. Our portfolio has grown but right now as I speak to you Edward got an accident. As you all know, he is crippled. The doctor said he will have to use crutches to walk. Also he broke his hand. So sad. With the nature of his work. I don't think we can continue working with him. We have been forced to terminate his contract. A jail. You will send him an email. We wish him a good recovery. How is he? We have lost him. How is my dad doing? We are so sorry. He couldn't make it. Oh no. They no longer need my services at the company. But why? This can't be happening to me. Good morning sir. Why are my services not needed? Did I do anything wrong? No. 
You didn't. Then why has been my contract terminated? You want the truth? Yes, please. The board decided it's hard working with a crippled man. I can't believe this. We had no choice. Mom, they fired me because now I'm crippled. I'm so sorry, my son. And I haven't seen your girlfriend all this time. What happened? Did you break up? Yes. She left me. After she heard what happened to me. Don't be sad. It's actually a good thing. You now know her. Who she truly is. Yes. I didn't know she could be like this. I will to the hospital and settle dad's bill. I don't know what I would have done without you my son. I want to pay my dad's bill. Use your card on that machine. My card is declining. Let me try again. It's declining again. Oh no. I don't have money in my account. Let me check the bank statement. What? When did I transfer $200,000 to Lynette? Lynette has killed me. She must have seen my bank credentials when she used to visit me. What is it? Nothing. Let me go to her workplace. I will find her there. I'm looking for Lynette. She is a nurse here. She traveled to Canada to further her studies. What? I have messed up. Any problem? No. Thank for your information. Where will I get the money to pay my dad hospital bill? I will go to Jacob. He might help me. Edward, how are you? I need your help. As you know, my dad died. The hospital bill is $150,000. And I don't have that money. I am sorry for that. How do you want me to help you? I was asking if you can lend me some money. I will refund you. Honestly, I don't have much I can lend you. I will just give you an advice. You can sell your house and car. You will buy another one where you get a good job again. I can refer you to the people I know who can buy them. Okay. Thank you. How much can you give me for the house? I will give you $100,000. Please make it $150,000. I will give you $120,000 and it's final. Okay. Thank you. Let's go and sign the documents. Have paid the money. The burial will be next week. We will come and take the body. Sorry once again for your loss. I have lost everything. I have lost my job. My girlfriend stole from me and ran away. And now I can't walk properly. What can I do to earn a living? Depression will kill me slowly. What's the essence of living? Come in. Welcome Jacob. Thank you. Have a seat. Edward. You have gone through a lot. I would like to invite you to my church. What do you say? You need to start a new chapter in your life. You have to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. He won't leave you alone. I would love to. You guys have been close to me during this hard times. You will tell your church friends I'm so grateful. Okay. I will. And on Sabbath I will take you to church. Okay. We will go. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run, and not be weary. And they shall walk, and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 And anyone who wishes to be baptized and start a new life please come forward. Thank you brother. There is this peace that I feel in my heart, even though I'm back to zero. I still have hope. I never had this kind of peace when I was in the world. Even if I had money. That's the joy of being in Christ. I am going somewhere Edward. Michelle, please take Edward home. Okay. No problem. Edward, I believe that there is nothing that God cannot do. Something that God cannot do does exist. The doctors said that you cannot walk without the crutches. But what does God say about you? I believe you can walk again. Let us continue having faith in God. Thank you Michelle for always coming and helping me to exercise my legs. I feel like I am starting walk properly without the crutches. My hand now has healed. There is little pain but I believe it will end with time. I'm glad. Glory be unto God. Amen. I am now planning to use the little money I have to start a business. Lynette, do you take Richard, to be your lovely wedded husband, for richer, for poorer, in health and in sickness? Till death do you part. Yes I do. Richard. Do you take Lynette to be your lovely wedded wife, for richer, for poorer, in health and in sickness, 
till death do you part. Yes I do. My wife. I want us to go to Dubai for our honeymoon. I would love to. I can't wait. I'm the luckiest man. I have such a beautiful wife. Lynette come here. Why did you burn my favorite t-shirt while ironing it? I'm sorry my husband. We'll just buy another one. Buy another one? This is how you waste money. Be responsible. I don't like it when money is being wasted. I can't believe he slapped me. Why did you cook this vegetables like this? Am I a prisoner? No my love. When you cook them that way, they are more sweet. I don't want my food to be cooked this way. You know what Richard? You have money. Why don't you employ a chef? That will be wastage of money. Then you have to like what I cook for you. Or you can get in the kitchen and cook for yourself. What? You are talking to me this way. You don't have respect for your husband. I will cut those fingers that you are pointing me with. Richard you have injured my hands. How will I work? I'm teaching you a lesson. Know how you talk to your husband. Doctor. Will my fingers straighten? Your fingers broke badly. They won't be able to function properly. Oh no. The business is doing well. I thank God for this far. Indeed he has been gracious to me. Michelle, thank you for coming. You have been my friend ever since I got an accident. You never leave me. I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. Please Michelle, will you marry me? Yes. Yes. Lynette. This is you. What happened to your legs? I got an accident. The doctor said I will never walk again. I will be forever on a wheelchair. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. And what you did to me some years back. I forgave you a long time ago. Meet my wife Michelle. What? You look good together. All the best. Thank you. Some things happen in life so that God can draw us closer to Him. Don't give up but have hope. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. The Bible says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be blessed.